So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. Mm. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Mmm, cheese. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. I agree. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. What? Uh, me? You think they'd want me for leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Ah, uh, Larry. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Ask me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Um, uh, you, you should know you're a freaking reporter. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. What the- I'm sure everyone would see it that way. She Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. What? She, she, I uh, really appreciate that. Completely turn I mean, around. Thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, none of your business? I move around a lot. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? None of your fucking business. I'm just not even gonna answer. Yeah, fuck off. How many people you got over there anyway? Also, none of your business. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Good for you, Mom's then. I've been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Oh, shit. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. And it's... Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh shit! Fuck you! You wanna be Fuck his you. friend? Jesus! Corpse. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Dun 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 dun. So sh sunny and there shiny. It is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Again, she's a reporter! How does she not know? Like, seriously! You must have, like, an elementary school education to be a reporter. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? None of your fucking business. We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. 
That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh, let's see here. You know what? Uh, we brought Thanks the gas. having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she- We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Shut the fuck up, a Mark! Vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Mark! Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. She knows how to use a gun, but she doesn't know how powerful 4,000 volts Lee, of electricity is. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. You gotta make love to it. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's just make sure that the place is fucking safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I love how I back and forward. Over there. Oh, yeah. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Broken right, swing. This I'll place is shit. Open. Let's get out of here. Out what you can from Andy. 